Hello. Welcome to my next Let's Play. This is Shadowgrounds. Um, okay, where do I get with this? Um, so I, I don't really have nostalgia for this game. That is to say, I haven't grown up with it, didn't play it a lot when I was young or anything like that. I got this a few years ago on recommendation from Inuba, and it's a really fun game. It's an over the it's an overhead shooter. As you can see from the perspective, it's a uh, 4x3, so it's relatively old. I, the first time I played this, you, you can just straight up edit the uh, the config file by going to options. There is no camera settings, or not camera, screen settings. Um, you can just straight up edit the config file. It's all text based, and I forced it to widescreen, and that works fine. There's some weirdness with the mouse. And apparently that still exists in 4x3. Like, as you move to the edge, it rotates the camera. But you don't actually get to the edge. It is much more obvious in 16x9. But it's still here in 4x3. Anyways, um... I got my original profiles. See, I played through the game a while back. And I shouldn't have anything. I guess I do. I guess my test run. Um, I don't think there's anything else to say. I ha I think I had some stuff in my head before. And now it's all gone. It happens. Um, so I I'm gonna stop wasting time and jump in here. I do know that in 16 by 9 the opening video has a little weirdness. It's super stretched out. You can see part of the environment around it. You don't see that. It looks fine in 4x3. That's the main reason why I switched it back. But I'm going to stop wasting time and jump in. Oh, also. Since you can just straight up edit, you can edit the config file, you can edit save files. So I was thinking of what difficulty to play on. But because I can edit the save file, I could like start on very hard and then just go in and change it. Like it doesn't say on the saves what your uh, difficulty is. So I could set it on very hard and go in and change it after I start to easy and no one would ever know. So we're going to be playing on easy. <laughs> I don't remember having difficulty the first time I played this, or not, at least not too much. It, it can be pretty tough, but it's not overly hard. Let's jump in. I also do actually have to click start, so I have to remember to click start, or we'll be sitting here for a while. Uh, Wesley Tyler is a senior mechanic working at the IGTO repair base on Ganymede. Good to know. That That's who we're playing as, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, why else would it say, say some random person? That's who we're playing as. Celebrating the greatest achievement in mankind's history, IVTN Network presents... History of Space Travel, Ganymede. Ganymede, first discovered by the 17th century astronomer Galileo Galilei. It was just a distant moon, orbiting the gas giant Jupiter, nearly twice the size of Earth's moon. Ganymede was old and battered, with an icy surface that seemed too hostile for mankind. It was hard to believe that the International Space Exploration Union planned to colonize a base there. Despite opposition, ISEU launched its most challenging project in 2050, the Artificial Environment and Atmosphere Experiment, sending three automated spaceships to terraform Ganymede into a planet fit for humans. Heavy equipment set off giant chain reactions, eventually creating life. Even with the most advanced techniques, this process took years. Finally, in 2072, Ganymede was ready for habitation. New Atlantis, the base colony, was in place. It was an amazing transformation from such primitive beginnings. The colony was able to sustain large numbers of people and soon became home to thousands. But even the most progressive societies are flawed. Failed safety measures caused an explosion at the fusion power plant, killing dozens of workers. 
a grim reminder of human fallibility, ever present despite technology. Several members of the security force Here were we go fired again. as a result of this tragedy. What else is new? Security and safety guidelines became top priority for the Gatini colony. <laughs> A special military unit was formed to prevent further disasters, but Ganymede still maintained its military independence. Unlike Earth, today's Ganymede is peaceful and stable. I better get overtime for this. Hey then. See, behind the sea, I don't know how well that shows up. I get close to the edge and the cursor just kind of freaks out. That is much more prevalent in widescreen. Nothing looks stretched out in widescreen though, like it looks fine. Only the, that opening video looks messed up. I think the ending might as well. But anyways, this is fine. Uh... Listen to that guy freaking out on the radio. IGTO General Paul Hagen has inspected all facilities on Ganymede. His main concerns with my repair base were that the mechanics don't wear uniforms at all time. Don't treat their superiors, that's me, with enough respect and have low morale. I have been ordered to write an improvement plan. The mechanics are going to hell for this. So this is author Lieutenant G. Wallace. Is this... I don't think this is Wallace, but... Pretty sure this is Tyler. He's yelling for Tyler. Yeah. Hey, Grease Monkey! Get your ass to the backup generators and fix the power! Take the others with you! Get that power up now! Yeah, sure. Move it, you moron! I love that, yeah. Just can't be bothered. So, the edging to the screen is not the only. Like, you can kind of see that it tries to go further. But edging to the screen rotates the camera. I also have my uh, mouse button 4 and 5 mapped to that. You might have seen when I briefly showed my config. Right, what else am I going to use those buttons for? Hey Tyler, how's it going? We gotta fix the power. Come on, let's go. I've had enough of his bitching. I guess our favorite commander got up on the wrong side of the bed again. Yeah, Ty. Why does the boss always ride you so hard? They worked in the same place a couple of years ago. Tyler was in charge back then. Sounds juicy. Lay it on me. Crappy equipment broke down and Tyler's security team got the blame. Ah, <laughs> that explains a lot. No wonder you kept your mouth shut. Yeah, loose lips sink ships, eh, Tyler? No sweat. Let's get this power going already. Tyler. Think you could fix these transmitters before Carter and I get to the control room? Sure, no problem. Alright, let's go, not Gordon Freeman. Also, speaking of the camera, I can hold down Alt and just rotate it, but, um, yeah, that's... I'm gonna have to be careful with that. <laughs> oh, I have to... Remember, as I was testing this, you have to hold this down. Well, the lights are still flickering, but... At least we can get a move on now. Would you believe Rodman here can remember his access code? Getting old, buddy. All right, we're going to the control room now. I'll be done in a flash. Oh. I don't know why he stopped. Mission accomplished. I'll meet you in the control room so we can fix the reactor and get out of here. Good. I don't know why, but this place is giving me the creeps. I swear there's something out there. Can't see anything, though. It's just your mind playing tricks on you. Uh, uh, not this time. This is for real. Oh, what button brings up the map? Not that one. Uh, tab. Okay. We also have upgrades. We won't be able to do anything with that until we get a weapon. 
wonder if I can speed up. Am I even going the right way? Okay, I am. I wonder if I could speed up the map rotation. Storm warning, a big storm is approaching the colony. All security and maintenance personnel are instructed to double check all necessary equipment, including flashlight batteries and basic repair kits. Okay, so... Did that zoom in? I feel like that zoomed in. Okay, it did. Well, he's just stepped on something. It was just kind of a sudden zoom in, and then it zoomed out naturally whenever I left the room. Anyways, yeah, we, the flashlight has a battery. You can see down there slowly draining. Ominous. The game's not super dark either. I know YouTube likes to make videos even darker, so we'll see how that turns out. IGTO has issued new safety regulations regarding the handling of all IGTO marked packages and shipments. No one is allowed to open any of the new shipments. All violators will be prosecuted and sent off from Ganymede. Right, and we can roll. We have a dodge roll. I, I don't remember using this much in my first playthrough, but that's probably what got me killed a bunch. What the hell? Come on, why'd you ditch your flashlight? You trying to scare me? Hey, I'm too old for this shit. Okay. Surveillance monitors are highlighted. Let's see what we got here. I think I can... No, I cannot rotate these. Okay. I wonder if we looked at those long enough if we'd see something. I forget, and I would definitely forget, um, I cannot save in the middle of level. There is no save button in here in the options. So I'm going to have to play this, or do my um, recordings to fit the game. I may have to stop in the middle of level sometimes. I'll try to avoid that as much as I can, looking at my old times. You see that up there. You can see it has times. There's a time between levels uh, maybe about 30 minutes. I think it was 40 at the longest. But that also does not include death, I think. No, actually it might have, because it's actually, like, real time. There's some weird noises coming from the depths of the power core, but I can't see anything. I should probably go down there. You should probably not. Oh, the record's over here. I'll fix the reactor myself. Guys, you better hope for your sake that I don't make any mistakes. This one I don't have to hold. Oh, he did. What? Why am I... But I was over there. Okay, whatever. But this doesn't look too bad for when it came out. Just say in here. Probably said somewhere. Okay, we got creepy crawlies. 
they do not like the flashlight. I'm probably going to use the vomit inducing camera more and uh What's this? good at least I got some protection now. okay I'm probably going to use the vomit inducing camera a lot more often in situations like this where I may need to whip around so uh I just prepare yourself I guess okay so the pistol is also unlimited ammo I did destroy the box. Some stuff you can destroy, some stuff you can't. Like I remember trying to destroy this canister and you can't. Maybe the red one? No. Trash can. Alright, we destroyed the trash can. Oh, flashlight's about to go out. a lot of blood. Well, I guess not. It was already there. Okay then. And actually, okay, I can manually blo reload this. Look like a big chunk of the map right there is not being used. Sure. I got my wheels. I'll be there soon. Try to hold on. Okay then, I guess that was the first stage. Uh, water treatment facility. The water treatment facility provides clean water for the new Atlantis colony. It is one of the oldest buildings on Ganymede. Water system is almost fully automated and the new facility uses the newest technology to produce the cleanest water man has ever drank. Sure. Also, why would they name it New Atlantis? Name the colony after a city that disappeared. Sure. <sighs> Mission objective Corporal Jane Arwen is trapped in the water treatment facility and she asks for your help. You don't really have a choice, do you? <laughs> Maybe she can answer some questions. Like, what the hell is going on here? Maybe, but probably not. I'm here at the entrance door. Are you still there? Hell yes, I'm still here. We're stuck underground with no way out. The security system's locked all the doors. Find a key card to override the locks and get us out of here already. Find a key card, let you out. Got it. Hey then. I think most of the maps are generally the same size. Do we have any... We can see what the upgrades are, but we don't have anything to upgrade them. Oh, they also take more than one part. Um, probably go for damage first. Yeah. Now, since the pistol is unlimited, it is very beneficial to upgrade this first. Not to mention we don't have anything else yet. Let's ignore the objective to explore. Nothing ever happens, and the water tastes odd. Man, why am I stuck in this hellhole? Oh, 
the water tastes odd. It certainly can't be the best water man has ever tasted. Oh, I saw some red dots. And they're inside the building. I vaguely remember the stages in this, but not super well. So this isn't exactly going to be fresh in my mind, but it's also not going to be completely blind. Oh, okay then. So enemies can drop repair, can drop uh, upgrade parts. amount of them actually. I'd say I'd farm them out, but I don't think I actually can do that. Let's see, only a four, so yeah. I'm gonna do like I said and get the damage upgrade first. Actually that's continued on. No, but there is a door. I want an orange cola. Okay. No orange cola for me. I also do remember from when I was trying this out before, to see how it recorded. There are some things I just can't seem to break with, at least with the pistol. Found the key card and some creatures munching on the guard. Not pretty. Stay focused. We're depending on you. Get down here. I did not actually see that, but okay. The spare parts shipment has been delayed again. Supposedly there wasn't enough space for it in the cargo ship. Bollocks. ISEU should put a little more effort into these critical things. If they themselves want to have clean water in the future. And what are they doing with all that cargo space anyhow? Who knows? Another pistol. In case you didn't pick it up where you had to pick it up. Oh. It's highlighted and I can't even pick it up. Can I break the toilets? No. Wow, I'm taking a fair bit of damage for being easy. I wonder if the enemies drop health. gonna okay that's just full health there's not been anything in these destructible things yet oh, when I stop breaking them that's when they're gonna have something actually don't really have time to waste on that No, it's in the next building. Whatever. Well, we have enough to increase the clip, but I'm going to go for damage first. We're dropping a bunch of upgrade materials outside.
for security reasons, I've decided to put a pulse rifle and some med kits behind the security locker. Okay. Oh. It's time to turn the tables. Well, this has limited ammo. I'm going to start picking up ammo for it. Okay, well, I remember these things not being able to break, at least with the pistol. Can you give me your own soda goodness now? No. Okay. Be that way. Oh, and that little arrow means that we can't upgrade. Let's see. Radiated bullets. It's just, just a damage upgrade. And a clip extension. And a taser. So I, I think it's damage, clip, and an alt fire. It might not be the same for all of them. Let's get kind of expensive. I wonder if there's anything down here. Probably not. Piece of crap broke again. Will someone please get a new working unit. And would FSG put something else than spam and warm water in there? Damn, I'm tired of this shit. Okay. Thought that one was dead. Okay then. I lost radio contact with my men downstairs. Main engineer Weston went down to ensure the water control door locks are in order, but he didn't come back. I have issued a red alert and everybody should make their way to the only secure place in this facility, the guard room. I will try contacting someone with the radio, but the storm is messing up the connections. This is hell. Earlier entry on page two. Okay. Pool manager Olaf Johnson was doing an ordinary checkup on the water pools when he got bitten by something. He started to have symptoms immediately and died soon after. Just moments later, we found out that the water pools are infected. I've ordered everyone to put on the protective suits. Access to downstairs is prohibited without my permission. Okay. it's one thing. Okay, so this does count as a second level. All right. Okay, I did not know that was actually something. I mean, it was highlighted, so... Interact with it. Another pulse rifle. wonder how... I don't know how that happened. I wonder how common ammo is going to be. I hate windows. Right. Uh... Fair chunk of ammo, I think. Oh! So I can't scroll the map. The map automatically scrolls. Okay. I think this is... Yeah, I think this is where I... was questioning if there was something. Yeah. Oh, there's something in there. Did already go in there? Huh, I did. Huh. Okay. It was highlighted through the wall. Something's in that room. It will let me shoot it from up here. Okay, we will take that. Trash? Evidently not. I 
think you're doing? This game is supposed to be spooky, and I'm just, uh... Rambling over it. I actually did not intend to pick that up, but okay. Oh, <clears throat> I was ordered to take a sample from the water pools. We knew that something was wrong because the water was brown. Somebody even claimed to have seen something moving in there. I have completed preliminary research and come to the conclusion, conclusion that some kind of parasite has infested the water pools. So is that suggesting that all these monsters used to be people? Another pulse rifle. More ammo. Getting a lot of ammo. That, that holds a lot. That's still nothing in anything. Oh, I was just in there. Wait. Hmm. I don't think I want to do that just yet. Let's see if there's anything out here. No, there is not. Okay. So I guess I want to do that. I'll probably call the video there as well. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere else to check for anything. This is also sealed. Yes. I was kind of hoping to get an upgrade for the end of the part, but I guess not. Um, I mean, I guess I technically could upgrade the clip, but I want to go for damage. So, assuming this ends the level, or well, regardless, I need to end the part. Oh, man. The elevator just broke down. Don't worry, there's another way out. But you'll need a different key card. I'll transmit the possible location to you. Get a move on! They're not afraid of light. Okay, after this encounter, I will have to call it. You're not done. Any more of you? No? Nope, nope, yep. Hey, and we get an upgrade material. And we still have not maxed out the pulse rifle ammo. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I cannot undo it after I close out of the menu. All right. That's good to know. Probably go for the clip upgrade next. Maybe the Trank as well? It slows down enemies. I don't remember using this a whole lot. So I put that off. Anyways, uh... I don't want to get ganked while I'm talking. Anyways, yeah, that's going to be it for this part. Well, while I'm at it. No, not a new level. Okay. So, uh, that's going to be it for this part. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stick around for more, and thanks for watching!